since the appearance of the first art form and while it spawned into black and white to color formats. Looking at these have become very interesting. As we move into the 21st century and beyond with the changes in technology and tools, we must also learn that anime trolling I've seen is a big issue from viewing a person's comments to news article posts that a true anime fan must not accept their toxic views. I do believe that when CGI anime comes into play while people rant over it, the toxicity has gone too far and must be addressed while understanding that, in quotations, we really appreciate the amazing conversation we are all otaku and it's fun to geek out is introduced as offensive they go a mile us as anime fans and not otaku should be said more and more to bring all anime fans together while the term is not the only issue from anime fans working at news sites discussing anime or its viewers to the companies who make them and their creators going at each other. We must no longer troll each other about it. We who are involved in the anime community must treat anime that is good or bad for the reasons with respect and to keep our comments to ourselves to whom those fans apply and have yet to be anime fans while we wait for them to learn and grow with our boundaries established together. From hosts who stream anime watch parties to the fan bases who dispersed their toxic comments in form of trolling, we must ignore them while we give them a chance in forgiveness. While we usher in a new movement to crush and reject anime fans who troll and whatever form. To witness the sight of true anime fans to emerge in bravery in healthy conversations shall be entitled to become true anime fans who are open minded, who don't claim that one anime is best of all time, who don't troll about the anime because of its bad animation. People who wish to become anime fans must evolve maturely and be willing to watch anime without negativity to have fun, exciting interactions. Never be called an otaku. We are anime gamer fans. Good evening, fellow anime gamer fans. It's time for this week's podcast. Let's go! After 95 days of screening in Japan, the popularity dethroning another Gundam movie and defeating 
other anime films at the Japanese box office. The Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Freedom movie will be taken off the projector mo machines at movie theaters May 23rd on its 17th week of release. Now, the massive hit it has made around 4 billion yen and sold more than 2 million tickets over 95 days. Just a reminder that the limited screening of the movie in both Japanese and English dubbing is 5 days away, starting Tuesday of next week at select theaters in the United States. Speaking of limited screenings and the fairness of the fan base, it would be cool to have anime movies like Gundam Seed Freedom to have no limited screenings after this success and popularity of the film. Well, everyone, let's get ready to head out and enjoy the movie in whatever dub and without complaints. Do you think the Gundam Seed movie should also play in theaters more than just two days in other countries? What do you think about the limited screen system of anime movies and your thoughts on expanding it? Leave a comment below this video. That's it for tonight, while there will be more content to premiere and to share with you while keeping you informed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more future content, and join the Samurai Media Mainframe Global Discord server. Spread the joy and kindness, and have a nice night.